Let me take it across to Srishti to get an understanding as to how the month of March has likely panned out. Srishti, what is, uh, you know, interesting to watch out for? CVs on the recovery part, you believe? Well, yes, CVs and as well as tractors, the month-on-month -month recovery will be a key monitorable to track this time. Why? For the two-wheelers, we are expecting that the robust demand trend will continue in the month of March itself. So, all in all, we are expecting a good set of data in the month of March across the segment. Let's start company-specific action then. And this time, we are expecting that the passenger vehicle segment is expected to post a double-digit growth on a YOY basis. But on a month-on-month -month basis, no substantial change out there. For m and Auto, we are expecting close to 77,000 of units being sold for Tata Motors passenger vehicle segment. We are estimating 53,550 units for the month of March. And when it comes to Marty Suzuki, this one will be a key to track. 15% growth YOY, flattest sort of a growth on a month-on-month -month basis and 1.95 lakhs is what we are expecting. On the commercial vehicle segment, do remember that last year it was the OBD2 two norm transition that was happening. So that's the high base. So if you compare the YOY numbers, there will be a decline but if we compare the month-on-month -month recovery, then we, more than 20% jump is what we are expecting across the companies. And the highest will could be for Aisha Motors VECV, where we are expecting 10,510 units to be sold in the month of uh, March. Tata Motors commercial vehicle segment, we are penciling in 42.3 thousand of units. And for Ashok Leyland, close to 22 thousand of units is what we are expecting. Now let's have a look at the two-wheeler segment here. The exports are doing well. The dom domestic demand is holding up strong. And across the board, we are expecting a decent set of numbers. Bajaj Auto 3.4 lakhs is the estimation. TVS Motors 3.3 lakhs, though it, there could be a decline of 10% on a month on month basis. But barring that, Ayesha Motors, Royal Enfield, as well as Euro Motorcom, they both are expected to post a growth of 2 to 4% on a month on month basis. And lastly, from the tractor sales, no substantial change on a YOY basis. But if we see the month on month jump, then we are expecting more than 30% jump when it comes to escorts number uh, close to 9,000 of units is what we are expecting for escorts and when it comes to m, &M tractor division 27,500 units is what we are expecting uh, the one of the key markets that is the southern markets is still under pressure is what the dealers are highlighting but going ahead given the festive uh, given the rainfall expectation uh, uh, the tractor companies could come out with a positive commentary so we will have our eyes on that as well back to you Okay, so that's the latest coming in on the expectations of the auto sales. But uh, Chakri, what's your view in terms of how you should place your bets in the auto sector? In the auto sector, I think, you know, uh, Marty will continue to do well. If you look at their growth is up like 12 odd percent. Uh, and that's a space, you know, the middle income India uh, will continue to buy cars as the trend has been in the last two years. Volumes are very strong, will continue to be strong. Uh, so, Marty, in the two-wheeler space, I think Bajaj TVS Auto will do well. Now, uh, in, 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 in India, you have uh, weddings and seasonally. So, now North India and East India <clears throat> will start the marriage season start. So, along with that, the two-wheeler vehicle sales, TVS Motors, Bajaj Auto should benefit. So, I think these are the companies to look forward to. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.